Hi guys, today I'm joined by my coworker and friend, Joey Joe. He is the Aston Martin specialist, and we're very excited to give you a walkthrough of the brand new Aston Martin DB11. I'm Heather Valentine. I'm a super luxe entrepreneur, and I'm crushing it. Joey, thanks for joining us today. Can you just walk the viewers through the changes from the DB9 to what it is now? For sure, yeah. So the whole car is completely changed, as you can see here. All the lines are new, all the body, chassis, everything's new about this car compared wow. to the DB9. Uh, we'll start from the front. You can see there are a lot of lights. They call it the light catcher. Mm -hmm. So they actually catch different lights at different angles. So it highlights certain part of the car. So we'll start from the front. You can see there is a bigger, uh, more dominant looking grill and intake. That's huge and this really rounded nose. I love it. Exactly. And what the clever thing about this uh, from the engineering side is actually North America has a very strict pedestrian protection regulation for cars. So the front, you can see what they did instead of a lot of car companies making very complicated front, they actually made the uh, upper side of the bonnet a little bit out so it's easy to collapse oh. when there's an accident. And we'll go back, of course, it's full LED lights I now. I love this, yeah, no cut and shut lines. Exactly. They take their time uh, putting that. Yeah, I'm sure we'll go back on the bonnet when we open the, uh, the front of the car. But you can see the, the, the lines of the car actually goes all the way to the back uh, with the light catcher. It play a trick on you to most people will see that the back of the car is bigger than the front. It isn't exactly the same width, oh. but through the lights, you can, uh, it's playing a trick on our it's eyes. It's really a so you can sexy tell. line though. I love those big wide haunches at the back. Exactly. And I heard about this new air blade for the aerodynamics and the downforce. For can sure. Tell us a little bit about that. Yep, yeah, so the airs will be going through the uh, front intake as well as on the side into the vent. On the mm -hmm. side vent, you can see there's a very big one. Yeah, it's what, a new side straight, right? Exactly. When we open up, you can see inside what it does. It's, it makes a turbulent air mm -hmm. out from the side, and it will make the pressure on the car less. Okay. So there will be a whole lot less pressure, uh, which will improve the drivability and the aerodynamics of the vehicle. But and it travels all the way to the back, right? Exactly. I see this big vent here. There is another big vent here. It's what they call the aero blade. So uh, it will take air into here, mm -hmm. and it goes all the way into the back onto your trunk. On top of it, you can see this little vent right, that's, that's outside. Right, that's a movable spoiler, huh? Ex uh, yes and no. Okay. Uh, so basically, on regular drive, what it does is it will uh, vent out certain air, so it will make an invisible spoiler out of air. Okay. Once you reach a certain high speed, then this little thing here, the spoiler, which isn't really the one, but the, it will come up and increase the air, the uh, strength of the air, the intensity of the air spoiler. So it will give you more downforce okay. for sure. Yes, that's really how it works. Of course, the lights, the lines in the back the are all new as well. So the trunk, I see there's no button to open the trunk. Right, so uh, there are only two ways of going into the trunk. So they have ditched the button mm -hmm. on the original DB9, which they don't think looks very good. Right. So what they do is there's a button inside of the car or there's one on your remote. So this is a new design for Aston as well. They have this huge clamshell bonnet and it's opening from the other direction. Exactly, so the new clamshell bonnet, this is actually the currently the largest single piece engine bonnet that you can ever find on any production cars. Wow. So it's made all completely out of one piece aluminum, as you can see, and uh, in order to avoid shut lines and uh, everything. So uh, that's why uh, you can see it's huge. It starts from the top of the bumper all the way to the back of the windshield. So beautiful. That's so Aston Martin to think <laughs> about. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the designer was uh, complaining that there are too many shell lines over the original DB9, even though it has a lot less than a regular car already, right. but they still don't want any. So that's the reason why they had to uh, look for a special maker of the uh, aluminum bonnet in order right. to achieve wow. that. Okay, and we've gone twin turbo now. 
Exactly. So this is the brand new Aston Martin uh, 5.2 liter V12 twin turbo. It produces 600 horsepower and it has 700 newton meters of torque as well. And it's not like any other turbo engine. It you don't when you drive it, you don't feel any turbo lag whatsoever. Oh, so I might actually like it. <laughs> you know, I'm a big fan of naturally. Exactly. Natural. So uh, for you, uh, you actually will not feel the turbo at all. Okay. It the uh, the full 700 newton meter of torque will kick in at 1500 RPM, and it will stay like that. So it's a flat straight torque output. Wow. On the on the graph. So it's very interesting. I mean, so I'm, I'm sure when you drive. I can like, I can take it to, you know, turbo noise. 7,000, right? <laughs> yes, or absolutely. Yeah, you can okay. take it up to uh, the red line, 8,000 RPM on this engine okay. um, that you can shift at that time for sure. And from here, you can see the. Uh, oh, this is where the air comes through. Exactly, and that's how they created the turbulence out of the side. Uh, that was first used on the Vulcan, mm -hmm. and then later on on the DB11 prototype for the uh, James Bond movie and then this. It actually has a soft latch system so you can see oh, it will latch it. by itself. Wow. Yes, okay. it's almost like a so soft door close yeah. on the regular door which is the same as that. So again we'll go to the back. It's still the signature um, Aston Martin Swan door right. which will go up 14 degrees up. Love. And yes. it still holds itself open. Ladies yes. love that. It doesn't fall on our legs so we really appreciate that. For sure, yes. Now I heard there's some sort of locking mechanism now with the handle. Right, so right now uh, compared to the old DB9, the, the handle is also improved. It works the exact same way like you give a handshake right. but uh, they've improved the handle uh, so if you press on the end of the handle it will actually lock the car as you can see there oh, wow. okay. and to unlock it unlike the old one which you have to press on the fob right. you simply open it it's keyless now that's great there we go i love that and of course the swan door 14 degrees yeah, right there yes and you don't have curb brushing as well which is really nice Perfect. especially in downtown toronto oh yeah wow the inside is lovely i love all the carbon yep so the inside is completely changed other than the signature aston martin letter mm -hmm which is still the best that they make in production cars, basically. How many hides for this leather? Is it still like nine hides for one interior? Well, this is a DB9, so it will be roughly a six to eight hides okay. to make one car, really. Okay. And uh, as you can see, the interior, the seats, the door, everything are updated and new. I think of Aston Martin as um, a gentleman's car, as understated sure. elegance. With Lambo, it's like, hey, look at me. But <laughs> with Aston, it's, it's a different kind of attention. Very refined, very elegant, mm -hmm. and understated, but stunning. This is a little weird. I have to get used to this. This is a Merc thing, right? Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, so they've moved into all Daimler uh, technology. So you can see the, uh, now if you own a Mercedes or mm -hmm. one of their products, you will see this is being very familiar. Yes. Um, of course, they've hired a team specialized in to uh, Astonize it, they call it. So basically, it gives you a lot of uh, characters, right. symbols, pictures, the Aston Martin. So uh, they're trying to make that different compared mm -hmm. to a regular, of course, Mercedes car. But uh, in general, the system is the same. But I like all of this. This is really nice. Yes, it yeah. will be a lot more convenient to use. It feels much more futuristic than the DB9. The DB9, mm -hmm. I felt, was a great car, but the electronics were very antiquated. So this is a nice upgrade. Right, but of course, they still maintain the uh, signature glass buttons right, here for right, your gear shifting. Yes. Uh, and uh, But they integrated the Mercedes touchpad, as you can see, mm -hmm. which you can draw little letters. And and if you go into navigation, you can just spell the places out, which oh, is great. great. And in the front dash, they also integrated three screens. Uh, so there will be your rev meter in the middle. Mm -hmm. And on the side and on the other side, there's uh, various information, your media, that you can control through the buttons mm -hmm. on your steering wheel. Paddles seem big enough. I like A that. lot bigger. Yeah. A lot less. I hate uh, when they're tiny. It's so hard to find them, so this is nice. Yeah, there are a lot less levers in the back, too. So right. it'll be easier to get to right. the uh, paddle. And you have your beautiful hand-painted badge here. Oh, for sure. Which Aston Martin is known for. Yep. The yeah. steering wheel is also bigger. It's a new steering wheel mm -hmm. too, so it gives you a better yeah, feeling. Nice feel. mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm looking forward to driving it. I like, you know, I like a nice, uh, tight suspension, tight steering. So I know this is more of a grand tour, um, but it has three modes. So yes, you can have it adjusted for sure. Yeah. So the adjustments are all here. You can see the S for 
uh, when you switch from the Grand Tour mode okay. into Sport into Sport Plus, okay. and then suspension is separate, which you can uh, change from regular comfort suspension to Sport to Track. Okay. So it's all there, and it will show in this little dots right in the screen. Okay, which yeah, on left right? and right. Exactly. Okay, well, I'll play with that later. That'll be fun. <laughs> And they're not a whole lot of storage from when we first look at it, mm -hmm. but they're all actually hidden away behind oh, wow. this powered, controlled storage space. Well, that's quite large. That's right? nice. And if you're wondering where your cup, cup holder, holder is, they can <laughs> resize too, just in case you need a wow. bigger coffee, right? Yes. Yeah, then there's a lot a of storage <laughs> in the morning, for sure, yes. The rear of the car is also a lot bigger, so mm -hmm. the rear seats, uh, remember the DB9, D despite the fact that it has four seats, you can barely fit anyone in there. Right. But now, even if you're in the front, I can fit into the back. What they have done is they changed the direction how um, the drivers and the passengers are sitting. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, your feet are further into the front, which gives more leg room into the back. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not as roomy as obviously a Bentley or Rolls, but it looks like if necessary, you can use it. For sure, nice, yes, which is better than before, yeah. Previous Aston Martins, you'd have to be an infant to fit that <laughs> there. <laughs> okay, great. So um, I'm going to take this bad boy out for a spin and see what I think about the drive. Is there anything else you think I should know? Well, I'm sure you wanted to check out the stereo system, which is still yeah, the best. Yeah, the old thing. Exactly. So that will give you a very good uh, music, and uh, other than that, I believe you're all set. I like this new rear view, it's nice and strange. Yeah, it's frameless. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. All those little touches make a difference. All right, well thanks for walking me through it. I know the viewers are going to enjoy this, and I'm going to take it out for spin. <laughs> Shifted for me right at 7,000. So it seems like I got a shift just before. I think the cool thing about this car is it's really incredible handling. It's comfortable. You could literally drive it eight, 10 hours and have no issue. You'd be comfortable. It's a true grand tour. But you still have 600 horsepower, which is awesome. I really like what they've done. Hi guys, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing and hit that like button. I'll be releasing new videos every week and I hope to have you along for the journey.